Hi everyone, it's Heidi from flutterbyheidi.co.uk back again with another project for you and this time it's another little note card box to hold the Stampin' Up! narrow note cards um, as you can see here I've used the petal promenade paper which is beautiful, just a photo um, realistic card, um, card DSP which has got lovely floral images on it and then I've combined that with the um, bouquet bunch stamp set which is this beautiful bouquet stamp set, um, which not only has some lovely little stamps and sentiments, but has some dies that go with it as well, which is what I've used on the front there. So it's just held closed by a belly band and just holds so sort of four, it easily holds four of the narrow note cards and the envelopes. Um, and I find these are great just to keep in my car so that um, if I'm out and about and I want a quick thank you card, I'm all there ready to go. Um, so, but nice simple construction, um, but just a little bit, uh, little bit of prettiness. So the first thing you need to do is get your stamping trimmer out. And you need a piece of card that is eight inches by six and a quarter inches. I will put the, the um, centimetre measurements on my blog, uh, which is flutterbyheidi.co.uk. Just to zoom out very slightly, you can see all the mess there. Um, and you are going to score on the long edge at two and a half, three and one eighth. Six and one eighth, and six and three quarters. Then you're going to score at five eighths, which I'm doing on the right hand side here, on both um, of the short sides. So I've just flipped it around like so. And that's all the scoring done for our box. While you've got your trimmer out, take a piece of um, Blushing Bride cardstock, which is the colour we're using here, um, which is one and three quarter by eight inches. And then you're going to score this at one and three quarters. you're going to score at two and seven sixteenths. So if you look at the two and a half and there's a just little mark just below it, that is seven sixteenths. At five and seven sixteenths, so again, five and a half, just come back one tiny little measurement and score. And at six and one eighth, so that's our normal eighth measurement, like so. And that's going to be our belly band to go around it. There we go, like so. I'm popping my trimmer away because I've already um, cut my DSP and layers, which I've got here. And one's fallen on the floor. It's probably, I've probably disappeared then. So, fold and burnish all of your score lines. And then you'll see that there's one section which is shorter than the other. So you just come down straight on either side of that and cut that corner away. With it still in the same orientation, you're just going to snip up and make little tabs. Those. Then turn it into landscape mode and just on this middle section make a tab. Flip it around and do the same again. Okay. So that's, our, that's what our box is, looks like when it's, um, when it's flat. And while it is flat we're going to add on our um, layers. So there are three panels. So the first panel is this large back panel um, and I've got a piece of Sahara sand cardstock. 
and this is four and three quarters by two and three quarters. That just goes in the middle there, so the border all the way around. Then you've got the DSP, so it's Petal Promenade DSP, and that is four and a half by two and a half inches. This next section here, same again, Sahara Sand, only this piece is four and three quarters by two and a quarter for the card. And this is a fairly unidirectional uh, paper, but obviously you just need to make sure if you're using one that's got a direction that's you, um, your orientation to make sure it works. The DSP is four and a half by two inches. And then we're just left with our flap at the top here. And that is four and three quarters by one inch for the card. And four and a half by three quarters of an inch for the DSP. Oh, that's not as quite as central as I might have liked. Oh, never mind. Once you've put your DSP on, then you can put the sides up. Um, and what I'm going to do is, to keep it smooth on the outside, I'm actually going to put the glue on these sections here. Now, you can use wet glue or you can use um, strong tape. Um, obviously, if you've got stamping up fuse left over, um, then you can use that. I'm just using some super sticky red tape for this. And then when you're constructing it, make sure you tuck those little flaps in and then folding the bit with the glue in and if you take this edge here and just make sure that is flush to the bottom, do the same on the other side. It's always easier on the second side. So you're making sure that one's square to the edge, like so. And there we have our little box for our note cards. All we've got left to do is our belly band and our embellishment. So, so our belly band we've done already. And then what I did for the um, top was I punched a piece of one and three quarter inch whisper white scrap that I've got there. I die cut some shapes and to make it easy to glue these I just put a circle of Tombow in the middle there that's going to be covered up by my um, other punches as well and then I just placed the die cuts across at an angle like so. I die cut some of the flowers that I've got here and then I use my Blushing Bride ink and a sponge and I just went round the edges of those just to add a bit of shading and it's surprising how it makes them just to pop to life a little more on there. Like so. so again just pop a little glue on the top there to catch the flowers and I popped those over the edges. Next, I took my sentiment, which is the thanks a bunch sentiment. And again, just a scrap of whisper white that I've got here. And I stamped that in Blushing Bride ink as well. And then punched that out. 
with the one and a quarter inch punch. And then I use the one and three eighths scalloped punch to create a layer. And then just pop some glue to layer those up like so. Put my ink pad out of the way because my next favorite trick is to put my fingers in that. And then I to put that onto the um, onto the belly band. I'm just going to add a dimensional, but I'm adding it in this bottom right hand corner, just to pop that in there like so. Okay, and there's our layer. And then all we need to do now is to add some glue to the box and I'm actually going to use wet glue here because I'm going to wrap it over onto the front and we just want to add a little join there. This means you'll need to hold it just for a few moments until it's um, attached like so and just make sure that it slides easily. What I'm doing here is so I'm just going to slide that in on the edge. There we go. Like so. Okay. And then all that we need to do, as you can see, this is very much scrap. Is add that to the front there to cover up that join, which it does. Just make sure your leaves don't go too far over. Slide on your belly band and there you have a lovely box to hold our narrow note cards and you can either give those as a gift or as I said have them to hand ready to use when you need them. So thanks for watching. Uh, obviously if you'd like to buy any of the um, stamps I've used, the beautiful bouquet or the petal promenade paper, then pop along to my Stampin' Up shop, heidysmith.stampinup.net and um, follow the links there to my shop, either that or pop along to my blog, drop me an email at flutterbyheidi.co.uk and I'll love to be your demonstrator. Thanks for watching, call again soon, bye now.